East Side Magazine is just in the, you know, I would say in the very early stages of doing some amazing things of, of to be honest, that I'm starting to look at it as that's gonna be my legacy piece. I've been doing some, you know, some, some good work and I'm not always kind of front and center of that work. It's always, to me, it's always about the stories, right? I'm a marketing person. So to me, it's always about, you know, promoting other things or, or promoting other people or, or the organizations. And in, in this, and in this case, through the magazine platform, it's about the stories of the neighborhood. And so um, I don't necessarily get to talk about me or the work that I'm doing and how I'm doing it. For me, it's highlighting that. But I am, you know, I, I do get more and more excited about what the magazine can mean to this neighborhood. And, and we've had several people reach out and say, hey, you know, I'm from East San Jose. Can you guys write a story? My grandpa has lived here for over 50 years and, you know, did some amazing work um, in education. And, and, it's, and it's those people and it's those stories that, that when people reach out to us, that we're like, wow, like this is, what people want. People want to share their story. People want uh, to access the platform. And so, again, I would say that, you know, we're just in the beginning stages of what this magazine could be. And interestingly enough, again, it's not necessarily an innovative magazine, right? Or, or an innovative platform, right? It is a magazine, right? Um, but a magazine that has a lot of value because the stories have the value. And I think that's where we can't go wrong. And, and so we keep reminding ourselves that it is 100% about the stories that we can share as a way to encourage other folks to tell their own story, as a way to get inspired by other stories, as a way, but also as a way to document those stories.